Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911. I am back with another statue unboxing, assembly, and quick review. Um, this month has been a pretty busy month for me. I've been getting a lot of my pre-orders. And uh, today what landed on my doorstep is the Koto Bukia Fine Art Statue, uh, Captain America comic book edition um, version. Uh, it was sculpted by Restore. It has a really nice uh, art box. Um, I'm actually a little surprised at how small this box was uh, compared to Carnage's. Um, they're both 1 6 scale, uh, but Carnage's box was about double the thickness and a little bit taller, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, very nice art box here. Uh, it shows Captain America on the side here, and another shot of him right here. And uh, on the back, it basically shows how it's being displayed. Uh, this one is number 360 of 800, right there. And on the bottom here, it's just a whole bunch of stuff in Japanese. <laughs> um, yeah, excited about this one. You know, I just saw it, I, I liked it. And um, at the price point, I think it was $360 Canadian. Um, it was kind of like a no-brainer just to get uh, at least a Captain America statue into the collection. Um, I wasn't going to get one. Like, I didn't want to pay, I guess, sideshow prices for a premium format, one quarter scale, like 700 plus. Um, so that's US, so we're talking about eight, 900, maybe even $1,000 Canadian once it's landed after duties, taxes, shipping. Um, so this is a very good compromise. So if you guys are like budget conscious, and you'd like to get um, some Marvel characters into your collection, uh, the Kotobukiya 1 6 scale is a very good compromise. Um, and I feel like uh, they're scaled a little bit bigger, so they're kind of closer to 1 5th. Um, that's what I kind of found with uh, Carnage. But uh, we'll see with Captain America. We'll start unboxing this thing and um, see what we got. All right. So. Easy to open that. Instructions here. Don't need these. I'll keep them there handy just in case. Uh, inside is a styrofoam box. Can already see some styrofoam damage in here. It's almost like they they didn't uh, calculate it properly on how it's going to sit on here. So a lot of this has cut into the styrofoam. There's styrofoam bits everywhere. There's broken pieces here too. And you can see a lot of um, like they didn't. This uh, tissue paper wasn't folded over it enough. But there's a lot of paint transfer onto the styrofoam here. Um, so which probably would just, I think they call it styrofoam burn, but we'll see. Um, it's quite weathered, so you might not be able to see it. Uh, but once we do some close-ups, we'll, we'll check it out and, and see what we're dealing with here. All right, so show you guys what I see in here. Hopefully nothing falls out. Just put my thumb there. All right. I'm going to grab the camera off the tripod. I'm going to get give you guys a bird's eye view and we'll just unwrap everything together and then we'll check it out. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. I'm giving you guys kind of a bird's eye view of this. Uh, first off, we'll start off with the base. Um, this is the base right here. You can see uh, how much styrofoam was just like cut up. Um, Everything seems to be okay, even like these thin bits, kind of some movement on there. That's probably plastic, just painted over. Um, not exactly sure what what it is. It's just rocks here. It looks like something has crashed into it. And some pipes here. Um, some purple and blue. Maybe it's like a hydra. These might look like, I don't know, maybe pistons, part of an engine. Maybe it's a Hydra vehicle or something. I'm not exactly sure. But that's that piece there. 
Um, this is Cap's shield. Very plastic. Um, honestly, it looks a little warped out of shape. You guys can see that from the side. Very plastic, very kind of cheap feeling, actually. Um, let's see, this is another part of the base here. Piece of pipe. This is one of Cap's hands, or arms with hand. This is a left hand. Another piece of the base. I guess another piece of the base. Lots of base pieces. Um, his right arm and hand. Quite nice detail. It's painted quite nicely as well. Uh, what's next here? So let's get rid of all this tissue paper here. So you guys can see it better. Uh, this is another big piece of the base here. Ooh, this one's actually wrapped up. I guess this is a more delicate piece. Oops. This might be the part where the shield kind of attaches to where it comes up from the base. I'm not sure. We'll see once we start assembling this thing. I'm glad uh, that part is not broken. Uh, next is Cap's body here. Very um, glossy, shiny, almost very sparkly. I didn't expect it to be that shiny. Um, whereas the rest of the paint on on the body and the boots and the legs and uh, there's there's America's ass right there, right? Uh, is more matte. Kind of a cool effect. I wish it wasn't as glossy. Maybe just a tad more subdued would have been better. Um, but so far, so good. And then last... Oh, no. I forgot another piece of... Oh, I think this is the part where the shield uh, sits on. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. <laughs> and last but not least is the head sculpt. Well, my daughter, when she was looking at the box when this was delivered earlier, she's like, how come Captain America has those weird wing things on her head? Uh, very cute for a three-year-old to notice that. Uh, she's used to uh, the Marvel Avengers um, cinematic universe. Um, Captain America without the wings. Um, a very cool head sculpt. Doesn't seem like he has googly eyes. Very nice teeth detail. Um, I think they did a very good job with this. Um, this one definitely feels more uh, one six scale than the Carnage. Carnage seems a lot bigger than this. Um, this head just seems very small in my hands. So um, this one's definitely true to size. Uh, I would say for sure it's a 1-6 scale. Um, later on I'll grab Carnage's head and we'll do a comparison. All right, so that is that. And I'm going to move the camera back and we're going to start assembling this thing. All right. Okay, guys, I am back. Uh, off camera, I went and grabbed Carnage's head uh, so I can show it to you. 
uh, versus Captain America's. Here they are. Um, you can see that Carnage is much bigger than uh, Captain America. Look at that. All right, so from the front, they kind of look the same, but you're, you see like this, this extra bit here. So I'll cover it that with my hand and you can see the size difference like that. So that's what I was saying earlier, Carnage is definitely closer to one-fifth scale and it seems that Captain America is true to scale at uh, one-sixth. It's kind of a crazy difference here if you look at it. Like this is just a head, um, at least uh, Captain America's looks almost the same at a quick glance because it includes his neck here too. So yeah, that's that size comparison. All right, so now we are going to get to this assembly. Um, first, we are gonna start with the base. Lots of styrofoam everywhere here. That's the base here. Nice, cute, tiny base. Um, let's see where this piece goes. No, it doesn't look like that. Looks like it pegs into something here. Let's do this piece here. Not exactly sure where this goes. Let's lay all these pieces out. Let's see. I don't even know what this pegs into. Oh, it definitely pegs here. I'm not sure if there was a magnet. No, oh, there is magnets. Okay. Uh, where does this one? This one has a fat peg. Seems a little loose for that. Definitely not for there. I think cat pegs into there. I think this one pegs. Or not. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think this one pegs into here. Yep, pegs into there. I believe cat pegs into this space here. So maybe I was right where this one pegged into there. Maybe it pegs upwards or to the back. Kind of makes it seem correct with the flow of everything. Uh, this piece, could it peg back here? Seems like it does. Yep, yeah, it pegs into there. So far so good. Not sure where this goes. <laughs> this one is a mystery. So we'll leave that here for now. <laughs> and we'll take cap here. Peg them right into here. Very, very dynamic pose. Nice. This is right hand. 
is left hand, very strong magnets, very strong static of styrofoam bits. And then his shield pegs right into there with this peg hole here. That feels very flimsy. That shield is so warped, like maybe he just threw it so hard it uh, warped the vibranium, but <laughs> it is an action pose. Yeah, okay. And then the head sculpt. Like so. Still can't see where this goes. I mean, it has, uh, it looks like there should be a peg coming out of the base. Oh, it looks like it's right here. It's, they even painted the peg, so it's so hard to see. <laughs> uh, but the piece goes right here. I'll take it off for you guys to see. It is painted, so. I mean, now when I see it, it's very obvious, but earlier when I was trying to find it, it was not very obvious. Um, yeah, so that's it right there, guys. Very dynamic action pose here. I don't know if there'll be any leaning issues uh, later on. Uh, the peg was quite small. Um, but I guess time will only tell. Okay, so I'm going to take the camera off the tripod, or I'm just going to bring the camera closer on the tripod lower, because uh, I find that lately when I've been doing my videos and taking the camera off the tripod, it, even with the image stabilization, while I'm talking, it still shakes a little bit, and I'm too lazy to go get my gimbal out, because um, I just do really quick, uh, short unboxing assembly review videos. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So we'll get the camera closer and then we'll do some close-ups of this bad boy for you guys. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Here we are up close and personal with Captain America. Um, right off the bat, you can see from this up close, the shield is definitely out of whack. Um, must have happened uh, when they released it out of the mold or when, or they used too much heat to adhere or shape certain things like where it pegs in. Um, I guess I like this statue. I mean, I'm not overjoyed with it. I, I do, however, like Captain America himself. I think the pose is great. I'm not uh, too you know, fond of how they've attached this whole arm thing just to like, you know, it feels like they just Tetris a whole bunch of stuff up just so they can get the shield up to where his throwing hand was. Um, I think what would have been better is having the shield in being held in one of his hands and uh, him lunging forward with a punch or something. Um, I know it's very iconic when Captain America throws a shield, but this just looks a little silly to me. Um, maybe I can just take it off. I'm going to try that later. I'm just going to take this piece off and try to like strap this into his hand there and see uh, if, if it looks okay. That might be an alternative pose that wasn't that wasn't intended um the base is cool the the rocks and whatnot they look great um the texture is nice the shading is nice uh what i'm what i kind of don't like is um how they painted the metal like this kind of like purpley bluish uh, metal it kind of looks cheap uh, it's weird that rocks are coming out of it too uh, maybe it was like some sort of underground base or a tank or some vehicle because this to me looks like an engine i'm i'm not sure or maybe it's a hydro lab who knows and stuff is just falling i don't know what the background is on this i'm just gonna have to look it up and maybe let you guys know later um but yeah i think they did a very good job on cap uh the boots they look great um the weathering looks great the shading looks great this could have just been a little less uh, shiny. I mean, to up top here, I don't know if it was a mistake, but this side here from the neck 
to his bicep. It's super shiny, like from here over. It's very shiny, but everywhere else is sort of like a more satin, like less shiny. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. And it looks way better here than it does here. Um, I don't know if the person painting it accidentally put too much clear on it. But I really like this classic comic book Captain America look. Love the wings. Uh, he's the Captain America I remember growing up uh, in comics. Um, looks fantastic. I would recommend this statue um, if you are budget conscious, but uh, there are better posed ones out there for obviously a more premium price. But I think Kotobukiya did a very good job on this one, um, considering um, the value. Um, you're definitely getting a good bang for your buck, um, especially if you need a Captain America statue in your collection and don't want to break the bank. Mm, yeah. Okay, so I am going to try to fiddle around with this and see if I can uh, pose them differently, um, like how I said earlier. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. This could be a win or it uh, could be an epic fail. So this is what I've come up with. I don't know, uh, looks a lot cleaner. Uh, shows a lot more Captain America. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is I'm, I, I, I probably am going to time lapse what I just did, but uh, I took that rock that I didn't know where it went in the back and I just kind of like stuck it onto here um, just to cover up this peg from where uh, this crazy uh, whatever mix of stuff was. Just kind of like put it there. Just to cover up that peg. Um, and then I put cap shield on him. Still warped. But I think that looks not bad. Right? I just kind of like put it in his hands there. And then now it just looks like he's lunging forward. And then with his uh, left arm, he's going to kind of like jump forward and use his shield to smash into somebody. Um, looks good like from here. I mean, it's probably the best pose is probably like, like this. Uh, but you can kind of see how I just kind of put his fingers through the strap there. Uh, it'd be nice if you could just remove that one and put it around his arm. Uh, but yeah, this is a non-intended um, alternate pose that you can do with this, which doesn't look bad. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, because I might actually display them like this. Uh, um, I really just dislike how they have all of this. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, display it as intended or display it like this. I feel like the, there's more cat to see. Um, it's uh, less obvious that the shield is connected to uh, something connected to the base. Uh, you'd have to display it literally in a box and just let somebody see it directly from the front if you don't want it to be too obvious. Um, but I guess same kind of goes with this, but this is a little less obvious. You know, maybe you think people looking at your statue won't see this part right away because they're more looking at the pose of Captain America. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Uh, this is the Kotobukiya fine art statue, Captain America. Uh, this is limited to only 800 pieces worldwide. Um, it's a very good value, a uh, good bang for your buck. And uh, you get to pose it differently, <laughs> almost like a switch out, but, but not really. Um, but uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.